You read and hear about it all the time. A great artist recounts the very moment when they knew they wanted to be an artist. I couldn't tell you when my love for drawing started. I just know that I do. My body eases, and my fingers clutch the pen. My mind lets go, and my hand begins to move. The marks seem to inform themselves where they want to go. My hand sees the mark before I do. It seems as if I already know what the quality of the mark will be before it's even made. The pressure, the length, the interplay with other marks, I see it before it can be seen. The ebb and flow of intention versus impulse defines these marks. But I couldn't tell you when the transition between them occurs. It is indicative of the feedback and feed forward relationship that exists in these moments. Random and chaotic lines become information and code for me to decipher and make sense of. An accidental mark may be the seed of inspiration to produce a deliberate one, and vice versa. A mark is made in anticipation to how it will relate to the whole. A drawing is the relic of an anticipatory system that was once at work. The marks constitute the drawing in process. Each mark is made in accord to where other marks have been made either at an earlier instant or at a later one. It is a result of a correlation process, as a realization of possible marks made. A drawing is a relic of an anticipatory system that was once at work, through the feedback and feedforward relationship between myself and those marks. Sometimes I don't always know what the finished drawing will look like, and I couldn't always tell you when it's finished. But sometimes I do know what I want it to look like before I even start. And when I'm finished, I know that the end is where I started from. Not every drawing is a success. That's okay. It doesn't have to be. But it is always an original.